Welcome to episode one of Richmond Restorations. In front of us here we've got a 327 GDS HK in Picardi Red. Bit of background on Richmond Restorations. Was born out of uh, two friends with a passion for cars that amassed quite a collection over the years. Got a lot of cars in storage and a lot of cars in the collection that have been restored, uh, which we'll post over the coming months. Uh, but in this particular episode, one will focus on this uh, Picardi Red GDS327. Bit of history on this motor vehicle. It was uh, purchased in Sydney. It's a Pagewood built car. It was purchased in Sydney uh, in the early 70s by Mariba Sugarcane Farmers. Uh, they wanted to buy some muscle cars, so they went down to Sydney and found this motor vehicle. It was painted black. Apparently it had been raced at Brickies, had a tail shaft loop on it. Uh, all the guards were rolled, had a bonnet, had an aerial on the roof, had a bonnet scoop and all the standard modifications uh, which are consistent with the 70s and 80s. Um, after being uh, taken back to Mariba, it was street dragged up there for a little while in North Queensland. Um, then it was sold to a family friend who was an Air Force pilot um, and we've been in contact with that guy. That's as far back as we can get the history. Uh, he bought the car in Townsville and he was then stationed at Williamtown Air Base in Newcastle and he drove the car between Williamtown, Adelaide and Townsville to visit his family. Uh, after four years of ownership, he was stationed in Singapore. He had to sell the car, so it was advertised in the trading post and the ownership went to the owner that we bought it off. Uh, he purchased the car in 84, when it was advertised and it sat in a shed from that date onwards until we bought the car a couple of years ago. So essentially over 30 years uh, in storage and never touched. It was pulled apart but all the parts were there. Uh, because of that the car remained in an amazing condition. You can see the floors here all original, untouched, no pitting, no rust issues, no water, just absolutely perfectly clean even under the seats. Uh, inside the doors, just all clean metal, no rust issues whatsoever, the other doors are the same. Dashboard was never cut, which is great. Car was restored by Auto Renaissance. Uh, he did an amazing job, all the gaps are perfect, the paint's perfect, you couldn't be happier with the car. It was a six month restoration process. There wasn't a lot of body work to do just to get all the lines straight, get all the gaps right, but there wasn't any rust repairs which uh, helped save the car um, and a lot of money. There wasn't, uh, the badges are yet to go on, we've put a couple on there being restored at the moment. I'll show you under the bonnet. So we've installed the heater box just for, as a test fit, the right bolts have to go in yet. Um, the same goes with the windscreen wiper washer, all restored, tested, all working great, and the steering box. Cross member had been damaged at some point in its life. Uh, the right, the passenger side um, wishbone had been torn off it, uh, so the owner sourced a HK date correct uh, cross member, which is actually a Dandenong cross member, not a Pagewood one and put all the original parts back on, so one inch sway bar, all the bits and pieces, the disc brakes, everything that are original to the car went back on the car, so they're still with the car. Bottom hinges are on, just need to swap a few bolts out there, nicely restored. New old stock springs, so all nice. Bonnet clasp, all restored. Just show you inside the car, and some of its history in relation to modifications. It did have a top loader in it. So as you can see, you can sort of see the line here. It had been cut through here along this line here and back halfway through the shift arm to fit the quick shift and the top loader. Um, that's all been repaired. Um, the Soganol hump has never been disturbed, which is good to see. So that's original to the car. A Couple of other features for these cars. 
um, got the radius rod bolts in the rear wheel hump there real rear wheel hump and over here we've got the radius rod bracket which is still in place that's never been taken off the car which is great let's give you a look in the boot uh, the original Salisbury hump in place and the Bathurst tank breather hole all features you want to see and a couple other 327 specific features to the car got the boot garnish on um, we're yet to uh, we've test fitted the tail lights they fit good so they're going to come off and get restored put on at a later date so overall a really nice rust free example to start with we'll keep you informed of the progress of the car uh, the next stage will be getting the window regulators put together and put in working well as you can imagine they're all in good condition because it didn't get much use get all the door handles on get the glass cleaned up and put in and then uh, we'll start looking at putting the motor in so stay tuned for episode two uh, and we'll see you then